Hello, my name is Joe, and welcome to another edition of Joe's Super Fantabulous PC Gaming Channel, where I'm here in Planet Base, the outer space building and economy simulation game where you go to various different planets and try to build viable colonies. And currently, I'm in the middle of a challenge, so if you're finding this on YouTube and this is the first video you're seeing, it's part of a playlist. So, you might want to see it from the beginning, but <clears throat> the idea here is that I've come to a lifeless rock, no atmosphere, no anything, and I'm trying to uh, sucker 300 colonists in joining me and working for Planet Base Corporation. So far, I have 148, so we're almost halfway there. Now, if I can do it before 70 days have elapsed, I get an achievement. So <clears throat> I'm trying to see if maybe, just maybe, I can get an achievement at the same time as uh, getting through this mission. So let's see. Um, <clears throat> whoops, sorry, I got to clear the throat there. I was thinking to myself that I don't have enough spare parts on hand, so I'm retooling just a little bit so that we'll be able to generate more spare parts in the future. Of course, it's subject to availability of metal. That's why we have all this uh, uh, metal processing uh, underway in order to uh, make sure that uh, we can make as much metal as possible for everyone. And we're putting up these mines. Let's see, who do we have here? Whoops, it looks like we are under attack. These people look like visitors. However, there are no visitors on this planet. In fact, we don't have the option of uh, having visitors at all. It's disabled in this challenge. So they're masquerading as visitors. In reality, they are hostile attackers coming to try and take this uh, place by force. Guys, would you please get out of there? I appreciate your dedication to duty, but I need you inside. Now, my colony has no defenses. We, we don't have any weapons. We're, we're peaceful. <laughs> um, other than having a very evil human resources department, which cons people into coming to this dump and working till they die, um, there's nothing really bad here. That's one of our workers. I'm going to try to let him in. While at the same time keeping out these uh, attackers. Oh, this is one of our people. Here, we'll open that back up. Now, the uh, attackers are actually much faster than my colonists. So, notice they're overtaking him, and they will reach the airlock before he does. So, we'll make sure the airlock is closed. In fact, all of these airlocks will be closed the attackers will give up and move on to the next airlock. Oh, I was hoping I could get my colonist in. Well, there is one airlock left. But we can't risk them getting in there, even if we have to sacrifice our colonists to do it. Oh, whoops, I forgot. I, I left this one open, so they're going the other way. Wow, in that case, maybe we do open this airlock in order to get them to go over here. Like I said, they are faster than my colonist is. So they're going to zip right over to that other airlock. But I can open the airlock 
and allow my colonist inside. Might as well shut that down. Save some power. Ah, good. Here are some new colonists, and as soon as they are inside, we'll shut the airlock behind them. that construction. Yeah, here come the attackers, and here go the colonists. So once they're safely inside, we can go ahead and shut down the alert. The purpose of the alert is uh, for yellow alert, it compels all the colonists and robots to return uh, to the interior of the colony. Once they're inside, I can shut off power to the airlocks, effectively locking them so that they can't be used. <clears throat> Our attackers have no way of blasting their way in. Uh, they're only uh, carrying small arms that are good against people, but not uh, effective uh, for breaching. It's probably uh, <laughs> something that they should have thought about. <clears throat> On the starport itself, huh? Well, that's okay. Okay, only 60%, huh? Oh, because one of these is not manned. Do we not have enough engineers for everybody to... Oh, I guess we do. It was just a shift change. <clears> hmm, <throat> incoming colonists. I don't suppose you could repair the starport while you're out there, could you? It won't be long before our uh, guests, uh, let's see, matter of fact here, let's fire up an airlock. This will induce them to move to the airlock that is now active, and uh, I don't know if that burns up their oxygen faster, but I hope it does. They're probably, there we go. I was going to say, not going to survive the trip. All right, so we'll reopen for business. This way we avoided having any of our colonists be killed by these attackers. And we should get a notice that identifies them as what they really are. There we go, intruders. Thought you're gonna come to my colony and kill people, huh? Ask not for whom the bell tolls, for it tolls for thee. Okay, let's see. Ah. 
Ah, good. We're doing okay for spare parts. <clears throat> I want to make sure that we don't run out of spare parts because all of our power generation depends entirely on these solar panels. <clears throat> and when they go out of maintenance, um, their efficiency goes down. We need them at peak efficiency at all times. So we, we can't afford to have them... Uh, well, here's an example of one being serviced right now. That way, when the sun comes up, they're at 100%. Ugh. What? What is... Zero? Why are there no engineers here? How many engineers do we have? Currently, we have 22 engineers. And we can't find someone to sit here and monitor these consoles? I'm prioritizing the uh, console work. That, that's ridiculous. Well, it looks like the uh, starport is operational, as indicated by the uh, large ship that landed. <clears throat> oh, it's uh, these structures aren't connected to power or oxygen, that's why it's complaining. I was wondering, I was like, what? We're going to have to listen to it complain until they are connected. Oh, let's fire up that airlock. <clears throat> Allow them to come out here to this canteen and finish it. Let's see, what is... Oh, so this is the, fi the boundary for the defense grid. <clears throat> As we get further and further away from the base services, uh, for the personnel that will work over here, I wanted to make sure that they have uh, plenty of uh, facilities for eating and recreation. So I'm planning for that expansion, although that sound that you hear in the background means we are overdrawn on our current uh, water generation capacity. So let's see, yeah, we are consuming 36. We're only producing 35, so we're overloaded, <clears throat> which means that we're currently pulling out of, uh, well, we can't see it from there, but there is a buffer of water, and as you can see, it's going down very slowly because we're a little bit over. So, before we open up uh, more facilities, we'll see about uh, additional water extraction. That's good to see. Workers. The backbone of our colony. They do all the mining and processing. There we go. And we'll put another extractor right there. Okay, it looks like this collector is completely funded in terms of material, so we'll go ahead and put up another. And prioritize that as well.
I was just thinking to myself that <clears throat> currently the entire colony depends on one small, well, in this case, medium factory, um, it feels small, um, to produce the spare parts necessary in order to keep the colony going. So we probably need another factory. Of course, by the same token, if we have another factory, that means we're going to need additional processing for bioplastics and for ore in order to feed that factory. Well, if we can get more drill bots, more uh, ore is not going to be a problem in order to keep the uh, <clears throat> everything running. For bioplastics, we would have to increase the amount of starch we're producing. Since we have some empty biodomes here, we could stock those biodomes with uh, starch producing plants. And that will keep our bioplastics processing center busy. It will also ensure that we have uh, plenty of food for all these incoming colonists. Because we keep adding mouths to feed, but we haven't increased the amount of uh, food we produce. Everyone likes potatoes. Well, for a little bit more variety. Course, that means that we're probably going to need to have uh, birthing available nearby. We want to keep the biologists that work in these biodomes uh, close to their place of work so that they're not wandering around looking for entertainment, looking for something to eat, looking for rest. Whoa, what happened here? I just heard somebody. I'm guessing they're exhausted or starving or thirsty or something. Asphyxiation? Where? Oh, he walled himself up inside here. Ugh, I wasn't paying attention. Sometimes the colonists will do this where if you don't want... That's why I try to put only one thing up at a time. He walled himself up. Facepalm. <clears throat> Well, that's one way to get out of uh, <laughs> working on my, my uh, slave labor planet. There we go. Put up, so that's why I'm putting these connections up one at a time, precisely to avoid someone walling themselves up, although they still manage to do it. And if you don't catch them, they'll basically kill themselves. Okay, let's see. Friend or foe? Friend. Oh, in a previous episode, we had cut down a lot of stuff here, and I had mentioned that Planet Base will remember where it was and it will just sort of grow back, but now it grows back around the base. So, <laughs> it tends to look a little funny.
Okay, good. We have all of our new starchy plants. And they'll be producing food, but more importantly, they will be providing starch. I would like to see all of these bioplastics processors filled all the time. Okay, we have the telescope built. Still can't get engineers to stay here and work. I have no idea what they're doing. Okay, well, we have our power collectors up. We still need some water extractors. Oh, I guess they are too far away to be connected, but that's okay. We can put something here. Um, you know what? I know what would be good there. bar. Now you may be saying to yourself, Joe, don't you have a bar not far away? And that's true. Notice how occupied it is. We actually don't have enough seating for everybody. Um, so if we look around, yep, there we go. Here's someone sitting there in a passageway on the floor, drowning their sorrows, because uh, our bar just doesn't have the capacity that it needs to. So we're going to create what I like to think of as the super bar. So the idea here is, is that uh, with some of these other structures, what I did was instead of having a single bar, as in the medium bar here, notice that it's, it's all seating. And then I have a large bar, which is all drinks uh, machines, you know, so all these uh, machines produce uh, alcoholic drinks to ensure that uh, the patrons can always get something whenever they want it. However, they're coming in so fast, they can't drink them quick enough to make room for other patrons. So the super bar will actually be a large bar of nothing but seating that is facilitated by two large other bars of nothing but drinks machines. So this will truly be a, a space bar. <laughs> One that uh, I'm hoping will make all my colonists dreams come true of happiness. <clears throat> at least for a little while and uh, here we'll even attach some birthing to it so if you meet somebody nice at the space bar well there's a, a nice bed not very far away So this will be the area with the seating, and these two will uh, produce all the alcohol that flows in here. And we'll see how popular it turns out uh, to be. Yeah, put another cabin here. There is a sitcom that I've watched called how I Met Your Mother, and it's about a group of people who share an apartment um, that's right above a bar. And I thought, wow, that'd be great. You know, you like I said, you meet somebody nice and you don't have very far to stumble in order to uh, find someplace comfortable to sleep for the night. Oh. Unfortunately, I can't fit a cabin there. So you know what? We'll just fit an airlock. I want to uh, provide a convenient... Uh, way in and out for the miners over here. So long shift of mining and then you come into a bar. <laughs> I 
It'll work out. Oh, too far. Now, because of the concentration of the number of colonists, and I can already see how far we are away, um, we need oxygen generation. So, put an oxygen generator here. In fact, probably more than one to service this section of the colony. That's a big ship. Let's see. Only two guys? When I see these things, I keep hoping, please bring me five colonists. Please bring me seven colonists. Because when it's hostile attackers, sure, it's filled with people. Filled to the brim with people who want to kill me. It's like, whoa. Why isn't it ever like filled with people who are like, Joe, we love you. We don't want to join your colony. I was like, oh boy, how did I get to be so lucky? Yeah. Well, uh, short, uh, the short version is I'm not. <laughs> I never am. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I want to link all of these, so it's going to have to be the little generator to do that. Did we not get these? No, they still have not been built, the uh, water extractors. Because yeah, I can just hear that water going down. And we are drawing more and more than ever. Well, hopefully we'll build them eventually. It's just, I, I guess we're using the materials elsewhere. Here, let me go ahead and prioritize this construction. Otherwise, it won't get, get done. At least one of them. Okay, so we have one cabin, and we designate where we want the furniture to be. I, I love how they have these holograms. It's like, all right, put bed here. You know? <laughs> so that way the, the colonists know where to uh, uh, put things and assemble them. Okay, since this bar is going to be one that feeds the super bar, we're going to set it up with drinks machines. And water fountains. And maybe just a little extra entertainment if it can manage it. There we go. Oh, and I can get one here. Great. So you can go there and you can watch a little TV or you can pick up some alcohol. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on the spare parts here. This is how we live or die, is uh, spare parts. What I'm thinking is, is that probably all the semiconductor manufacturing is going to move to that new factory that was just completed. Okay, please don't be hostile. We don't have time for this. Okay, good. All friendlies. You know what? Here. To avoid someone walling themselves up in there, because they will, as we saw earlier, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll leave that open, then we'll make these final connections uh, once all these other ones have been made. Thank you. 
Oh, good, good. All right, so our water extractor is online. So we should now be caught up, at least for now, until we uh, activate other things. We'll be uh, producing water rather than burning through it. Well, okay, maybe that tank won't show us, but we can see it here. So we went through our reserve. And we're now building back up. Hmm. Yeah, oxygen's kind of tight. Well, that's why we're building more oxygen generators to feed the complex. Oh, wow. Several, apparently. Now, oxygen generators require water in order to operate, so to avoid it being a shock to the system, I'm going to keep them powered down until we activate this section of the complex. We'll need to see about getting uh, more um, water being produced uh, before we do that. But for now, I'm going to allow them to... Uh, work on other areas first. Hmm, this canteen here is really busy. As is that, that bar. These were both satellite facilities. And so I was planning on putting a, uh, a nice uh, compound canteen over here for the biology teams. I need to see about finishing those. Whoops, it's that time again. They're playing our song, Yellow Alert. All right, I'm kicking everybody out. Get out of the mine, go inside. As these guys mean business. And we can't let them into the colony. Well, unfortunately we can't make the connection because we need to get people inside. Power that off too. Okay, they're gonna keep going and let's see, they're probably headed to these airlocks now. I hate losing the productivity, but we don't have anyone to fight these guys. The goal is to reach 300 colonists, and so I didn't want to commit security guards to constant firefights with these uh, invaders all the time. Okay, I think all of our airlocks are shut. So I can turn the alert off. The alert beckons our colonists to come inside, however, with all the airlocks powered down, they can't get outside to cause any mischief. I'm hoping there's not an airlock that I forgot. <laughs> no, I guess there isn't. So, as you can see, they've come to this airlock and stopped. Oh, meanwhile, we can uh, process everything we've got going. Oh, look at this. Bioplastics looks like they are happy. Look at all the starch that's being chewed up right now. So that means our newest uh, biodome apparently is a win. I don't see any maintenance icons. So the biology team is keeping up with all the maintenance required. Ah, the super bar. Everyone wants the super bar. Look at this. People want their alcohol. When the super bar goes online, 
I think I'm going to have some happy colonists. Very happy. Okay, well, that poor guy's going to just have to sit on the surface. Until I can figure out where he's going. So they're here. And here he goes. Hey, I can compel him inside. Say... Get in here. And now we can shut down the alert. Now our intruders will have seen that I opened that airlock and they're making their way there in the hopes of getting in, but I've already powered it down, so they're they're just wasting their time. But hey, maybe we can get them to burn up their O2 faster. It's like, here, we'll, we'll just go for a little jaunt around the base. Is anybody wanting for... No, it looks like we're just waiting for... Well, that one's waiting for bioplastic, but most of them are waiting for metal. Well, while we're stuck inside... Like I said, semiconductor manufacturing is going to move here. So we'll, we'll just give up on that uh, <laughs> at that location. And we'll activate this factory. Wow, look at all these people having alcoholic drinks just laying around. The super bar is desperately needed. Okay, I just uh, jiggled the airlock there in order to decoy these guys away from this airlock so that maybe we could get our colonist inside. What are you doing? Just sitting there idle, huh? Oh well, hopefully they will die soon. Okay, we are just about ready to start making semiconductors again. <laughs> Based on the number of people that I saw out there uh, on the floor, we need to prioritize construction of the super bar. In fact, uh, it's just pending one metal in order to be complete. There we go, there we go. That's what I was hoping to hear. I want to hear all those guys asphyxiating out there. Let's go ahead and open everything back up.
Oh, that's another water tank. Still not finished. It'll be a little while. Okay. Ah, uh, the super bar is desperately needed. So, we'll see. We'll see about sating everybody's thirst. Ah, good. All the materials are in place. Now it's just pending assembly. Hopefully that's what this constructor bot is coming to do right now. Let's see, friend or foe, friend, well, it's probably going to be a while before we see hostile attackers again, but just in case, I don't want Planet Base to fool me and send them uh, bad guys at us back to back. A human engineer is the one who's coming out to put this together. I would have preferred a constructor bot. At least they are faster, but... Oh well. As long as it gets done. Oh, please don't tell me you're going to wall yourself up in there. I'm, I'm watching you. You better not do that. Oh, he's not even going to finish the connection. It's just impossible to find good help these days. <clears throat> no, I take that back. He did it. He walled himself up in there. Idiot. You do this one first, and then this one. Ah. Planet-based logic is anything but. Well, at least this time I caught him. He didn't get to commit suicide like that other guy. All right, well, it might be a little while before we get this final connection, but you know what? It is time to inaugurate the super bar. Hopefully we have additional water. No, we don't. Let's prioritize water extraction. We are going to need it. Now the super bar is desperately needed. For one thing, I need my colonists to be happy so that more, uh, well, I was going to say sucker, um, valued uh, team members will join us. <laughs> because how happy the colonists are determines our status. So if I can keep the alcohol flowing generously, we, we can keep people coming to this planet so that we can reach our goal of 300. Okay, and so we should be seeing a nice long parade of bioplastics. Because everyone's like, what? Super bar? Absolutely, I will help you build that.
now all this construction is going to uh, well, draw more on the power grid so uh, well we need to finish this first but then we'll add more uh, power storage and probably power generation Notice their priorities. They're like, drinks machines? We've got to have more drinks machines. I was like, okay, well, how about some like chairs for everybody, guys? You know, stools, whatnot. It's always funny to see the colonists' priorities. Okay, there we go. We have some seating. I bet you this seating is going to fill up quickly. At least if what I've been seeing elsewhere has been any indication where you have people sitting in corridors on the floor, drinking. See all these frowning faces is just not enough entertainment here on <laughs> the dark moon. Although maybe it will be helped as we uh, make more semiconductors and build more robots to help everybody with their daily tasks. Of course, we need more metal. To get more metal, we need more robots and uh, yada, yada, yada. And we are tapping out the water system again. Let's see how bad. Oh, and not by a little. Consumes 48 and produces 41. Okay, well, the extractor here is about to be assembled. There we go. Now, if we can get this connected. still over or nope we're right at uh, the amount all right let's find places for more extractors because this is not going to cut it what the heck was that, was that a ship uh oh i didn't see who landed uh, i hope they weren't hostile I guess I don't see anyone. Uh, it looks like an attacker. Yeah, look at that. The super bar isn't even finished, but every stool is going to get filled quickly. I want to bring on additional uh, oxygen generators, but we have to have more water. This area is not being used. Put an extractor right here. Wow, 
want to make sure there's not one single point of failure for these since we will need those extractors. Okay, let's greet this ship. Friend or foe? Friend. Excellent. Okay, good. Another oxygen generator online. Well, I should say ready to come online. Let's uh, get more water before we uh, fire this thing up. Yep, the super bar is attracting customers and it's not even finished. Looks like we consumed all of our bioplastics. But that's okay, there's plenty more starches to feed the, the processing center, so we will get more. Oh, that's good. That was quick. Why did the other water extractor take forever? But this one's online right away. Well, on <clears throat> second thought, uh, let's bring on that oxygen generator online now. We don't have to wait. Same thing with this one. Pending metal, pending metal. Oh, I just want to get these bots back in uh, under construction. The uh, drill bots are, are worth their weight in gold on this planet. at all the people at the super bar. I, I knew it was going to be uh, a hit. Yeah, I bet you this thing will be completely full very soon. And it will probably remain that way uh, <laughs> often. Whoops, who do we have here? Okay, more workers, good. I'm watching the food levels and I'm noticing the decline. Of course, that's uh, due to our population increase, of course. Okay, here's where the new oxygen generators came online. O2 apparently was going down throughout the colony, big surprise. So. Hmm, you know, we probably have a shortage of birthing at this point. I hate building dorms, but I'm just curious as to how bad the shortage is. And so this will give me an indication. If this fills up, then yeah, we are starving for uh, birthing facilities. And I think we are. Well, actually, you know what? We'll, we'll place it someplace else, not here. Um, oh, 
Oh, the canteen is up. And we want our people to get the benefit of this thing, so... We do our dorm experiment over here. Okay, yeah, we're, we're still well within the defense perimeter, so. Whoops. Can't get too carried away with my clicking. Come on, come on. Let's see, guys. Okay, well, if the factory is not doing anything, we might as well power it down. Probably a lack of metals and bioplastics because of all the construction we need to do in order to expand. It's good to see the super bar take, uh, whoops, some pressure off. Okay, good, that, just an engineer. Ooh, I, I didn't catch that landing. I was worried it could have been something else. Okay, this water extractor is up. Okay, everybody says my colony is good, so you should want to come here. Let's see. Yeah, since we have a factory over here. I know it seems like an unusual concentration of oxygen generators, but what I'm thinking is, is that basically we need a birthing complex. And here, let's see, what I was thinking is... A fitting two cabins on here. Whoops, time for another attack. hate to kick a drill bot out of there. Oh, whoops. Oh, no, that's okay. The worker can go into the next one. Okay, 
I don't see any of our people coming to get in. This guy somehow got injured, probably in a mining accident. Well, I guess that uh, decision is being made for us. <laughs> but here comes the sun. Okay, I think I got all the airlocks. I think. Whoops, no I didn't. Yeah, and I see the colonists, they were diving for that airlock, and so were our attackers. Okay, you, yeah, go to the mine. Go drill me some ore while we wait for these guys to die. Ah, oh, the drill bots all want to come out, and I appreciate that. Here, we can decoy our attackers. Meanwhile, let's see if we can get some of the drill bots out. Let them go back to work. We've decoyed the, the bad guys to come over here, only to allow work to continue over here at this airlock. As soon as they realize they've been had, though, they were, they'll were they go ahead and come back. Yep, here they come. This is a very busy airlock. <laughs> Problem is, is some very bad people are coming to it, and they need to stay outside. I have 17 days to get 120 people to come to this colony. So I can't afford to have any of them killed by these idiots. Here, let's give them some place to really wander off to. There they go. Hopefully they'll die before they get there. Sorry to put everyone through the uh, pain of going through one airlock, but just got to keep an eye on them. Right now, they're making a beeline for this airlock over here. 
which we'll go ahead and we'll open up because some of our colonists are going that way too. The only ones we want to keep out are the attackers. Oh, good. You know what? They might be just about done for. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll activate that satellite canteen. There we go. Hopefully our colonists make it to the... Uh, yeah, see these guys are slowing up. Ah, delightful. Okay, so now we don't have to worry. They can just lay there and die. Don't help them, guys. Meanwhile, let's see, let's go ahead and reactivate all of this over here. Oh, good, we have all the materials to produce a couple more drill bots. Well, I need some engineers, guys. They're probably all busy drinking. <laughs> It's the bioplastics parade again. Getting all kinds of things put together. Hmm. Well, we don't have our water extractor yet, but we're just barely, yeah, <laughs> one gallon over. Well, I think those are gallons, I don't know. Uh, over what the uh, the grid is consuming. Whoops, I hear a ship landing. Okay, good. Looks like another biologist. Oh, engineer. Even better. So many people sat in this section of the complex. Guess we need another bar. Now, if you're wondering why I'm uh, getting everybody to solve their problems with alcohol, there is another option. It's called the multi-dome. And it never seems to be as popular as the bar. <laughs> it just doesn't. Although, we do have a multi-dome, it's ready to go. It would just be a matter of uh, putting everything together there, so you know, well, let's give that a try, just to see if it helps with uh, any kind of stress relief here for everybody. So you got the little hamster wheels. Little pull-up bar, whoops.
you get sit on a bench and watch other people. <laughs> oh, it's not going to let me fit that, huh? Well, I tell you what, here, let's... You gotta have people sitting on benches watching other people work out. That That's a definition of, of the modern gym. And then there's the happy plant. Everybody likes the happy plant. Wow, you can put a lot of these things in here. All right, well then, hopefully everybody gets happy. Uh, whoops, oh, there goes the power. And here comes a ship. I guess we expanded a little too quickly. We can't be without power for too long, otherwise uh, things could get really dangerous. Prioritize construction. We need power, and we know it. Come on, son. We need you. Just noticing these food levels, we are off balance. There are only only one meal in the whole colony. Uh, this is bad. Okay, this is an emergency. Uh, we're going to shut down all non-essential systems and uh, get back to making some food. I guess I expanded too quickly. this construction so that we're not tying up uh, metal resources here. Hopefully some uh, bots will grab this metal and take them to be used for this uh, power collectors. Oh, come on, let a bot do it. Not colonists. You guys take forever to march across the map. I was hoping that we'd be able to collect the power before the sun went down, but we need the collector to be finished for that to happen. These guys will just take forever. Losing daylight, we don't have a lot of power stored. This is bad.
points and it draws a lot of power. Well, the starport for one thing. Uh, of course, that thing's the whole point of the achievement. But we need to store every kilowatt of power that we can. And we have all these power collectors that are not filled and the sun is going down. Uh... Well, let's see if we can survive the night. You know what? We're, we're going to cut off everything non-essential. All the mines need to shut down. I know there are going to be a lot of unhappy people, but let's, uh, we may have to shut down the super bar. At least part of it. We can get overflow uh, and leave the seating open, but shut down all the machines. Do we finally get metal here? No. Might as well just turn these off. They're sitting here consuming power and doing nothing. Okay, we're going to prioritize construction of a new solar panel. Ah, the oxygen generator is doing its best, but there, there's a high density of population in this area and not enough oxygen generators. Well, that highlights a, a little error in my <laughs> colony design. Although I can't believe with a generator directly connected to the lab that it is struggling to maintain its uh, oxygen levels. These finally got built. There's no bioplastics to finish the furniture, but at least they're built. Okay, so... <clears throat> As we are able to process more bioplastics, we'll be able to uh, complete all the furniture in this uh, birthing section. Yeah, I'm still surprised. I mean, well, of course, I guess the oxygen's flowing out to these other areas. This generator is struggling because it, the draw is so powerful in all of these areas. And it was okay when it was just keeping up, but when the power went out for a long period of time and the oxygen is depleted, it's hard to get the levels back up there. And you've got all these people flowing in here. So we need this generator. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Well, we'll let the drill bots work. That way we at least still have some ore coming out.
Decent. <laughs> We're not worth attacking now. They, they want a, a colony in better shape than this. This also means that nobody's going to come down here, unfortunately. about the power. Okay, good. Here's the metal that we'll need for the uh, solar panel. I'm hoping it could be completed before sunrise so that we can get the full benefit of it all day. But I don't know. Good. That looks like an engineer who's bringing it, I think. Yes. So, hopefully after he lays down the last uh, ingot, to assemble, the, uh, he'll also assemble the panel so that at least it's ready. Hmm, I must have forgot to reactivate that after the last attack. Come on, please assemble it. No! Why are you leaving? Oh! We have to have this power, you moron. He's like, I'm too tired. All right, well, maybe the constructor bot will do it. It looks pretty motivated. Okay, uh, welcome to... The Dark Colony, you may have gotten here just in time for our latest power outage. Uh, don't be alarmed, the lights will come on, back on as soon as the sun comes up. Yeah, it looks bad. We were about to hit another blackout. But at least this one will not be an extended one. Even with all this stuff shut down, we can't power what we have. Ah, but the constructor bot will ensure that we do have another panel when the sun rises again. But you know what? Let's build one more. It probably won't be ready today, but it'll be ready for the next day. And yeah, this is day 54. Oh, I prioritized that. Uh, meteorite impact on connection. Not a big deal. More oxygen problems. Oh, this generator is ready to be assembled if somebody would come out and do it. Never mind the engineer who's just standing here. because he's walking away from the airlock that's just about opening. Well, no, I guess he's got enough O2 to make it, but... <sighs> it's just a, another fun day here on the Dark Colony. Oh, you know what? I guess this uh, episode got so exciting, the time got away from me. So here, we'll go ahead and we'll end this one here. <laughs> it's just one crisis after another, and I haven't been able to take my eyes off of this to watch the clock. So we'll see in our next episode, uh, does the colony survive? Uh, we've, we've got problems. We've got lots of problems. Lots of growing pains. One way or another, we'll make it, but... Oh, here, here we go. Here's a nice little constructor bot coming out to put up a new oxygen generator. Good. We need it. And, well, let's see. Here's all our soil panels working to charge up all those collectors. I hope they're able to do it.
Okay, so we're starting to pressurize and then hopefully that will help all of this area which has been uh, struggling with just this one generator here to keep everything going. That's actually a, a pretty good indicator here showing uh, generates oxygen for approximately 30 people and we had more than that running through here. So we need some help. We're going to get those levels up one way or another. It'll just take a little bit of time. All right, and with that, uh, whew, very exciting, um, <laughs> at least for me. Join me next time here on Joe's Super Fantabulous PC Gaming Channel as we'll continue with the Dark Colony and see whether or not we can make it an express Dark Colony as we try to reach a population of 300 by day 70. Uh, it's still possible, but boy, is it going to be hard. See you next time.